Did you this, choose that one specifically as opposed to the other ones? Or just I think this is, yes, I use this one because I like the trend. So okay. Yeah. Do you feel like the trend's got a little more bounce? Yeah. The trend's got a little more spring to it. Okay. But these are great. So there's only one of them, that's why. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, so they all have. I like the springiness of it. Okay. Um, I have. I have I destroyed my lower back from a bad injury snowboarding. I, I went off a jump and I landed on my butt and I shouldn't I should be wheeling myself around. I shouldn't be walking. I'm very happy that I'm capable of showing people these things that have gotten me. Uh, that keeps me functional. And to be able to get my body to move like this is one way that I stay functional and treating patients. And without doing stuff like this, I wouldn't be, I promise. So I'm sharing stuff I do with you that I do for myself. Uh, this button right here, what you can do is press this until it gets too loud, maybe like, it's called four degrees, so once it says four here, that's at a four degree incline. And the other button on this side is going to be your speed. And so you can be anywhere between a three or a four on your speed. Four is pretty fast, so start at a three. And so what I'll do is I'll bring this up. Three is about a normal, somewhere a normal walking pace. So you're going to be a bit condescending, so bear with me. So we can be on this doing this, which would be checking the box and working out, saying I worked out today. <laughs> you're going to do something where it can be therapeutic. And that we can really encourage you to go faster. But as you learn how to walk, you'll go faster. If everybody's watching speed walkers, they are going to Speed walk. These guys have learned how to use their body so well. They go fast and be efficient. But every time my right shoulder goes left, my left shoulder goes right. You get the point. However, we don't want to be our butt out doing this. We want to be tucked under in the upright posture. Exaggerating the movement. The point of this is, look silly, don't worry about being judged, be ridiculous. <laughs> we have to get it moving, or the discs are going to stay locked in. So if you can get your hips moving, and your lower back moving, it devalues my profession, because you probably won't need as much chiropractic and physical therapy, because your body is fixing itself. Any questions about how to use it? Just make sure you keep your butt tucked underneath you and get that swagger down. And I think to that point, you, someone and most of us in here have been doing this and, and you hop on a treadmill and you're comfortable with it. For somebody who has never been on a treadmill before, having a movable um, tread underneath you is different and difficult. Those of you who use these a lot and we're still holding on, that death grip on the treadmill minimizes that thoracic movement as well. So we're here, and now we're definitely not getting any of this. So get comfortable as upright as we can with a slight hip hinge, but not with the butt out, um, but as natural as you can on a moving, you, you know, movable object.